Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. This is QuickMind. Trying out a new program to record this, so hopefully um, don't have to worry about the uh, little sound bug that I so enjoy. Um, I'm going to attempt to show you guys this colony over here. Um, it's not going to be easy, I'll tell you that. But... In uh, my test run a while back, I successfully completed one uh, with substandard technology. So, like, roughly where I'm at now, I was able to uh, complete it. However, uh, don't be too upset if you die, because uh, chances are you will. But I, I think we'll be alright. I think we'll make it. And as the Tao would say, uh, for the greater good, so. It's going to be for the greater good, trust me. Okay. I went ahead and uh, checked out what kind of research I need to advance things and... Um, Somehow I I kept slipping up and forgot to uh, to get a live deep one terrorist. I kept thinking I had one, and I must be thinking of my test run. So I was looking at this game, and sure enough, I have the uh, corpse researched, but not the live one. I was really surprised, to be honest. Africa. Well, nah, let's keep it just in case. Don't tell me that Zerbite's taking up all my room. Aqua Plastics probably taking up some room as well. Uh, the one thing I miss about UFO Defense, uh, as compared to this game, is how much quicker these numbers could be uh, accumulated. Like, you see this rate going kind of slow, but in UFO defense, it just zooms right by. Okay, we have some room in our stores now. So time to re-equip. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we'll need some more of those. Some more of those. And we are going to need thermal tasers, because there's going to be at least one alien I want to capture. Now, let's see. Yeah, that should be good. Um, I am going to hire some more Aquanauts, because I anticipate losses. And I'm just going to want more anyway. So I think that should be good. 17 days on the MC Labs, 5 days on the Transmission Resolver. Okay. So, I don't think it makes a difference, but I'm going to wait for the day to come anyway. I think it's... I think colonies are considered so deep that light barely touches it and it reaches it anyway. But I needed time for the Triton to refuel and stuff, so... We'll just, we'll do that. Kind of, uh, evil music here. Uh, here we see we're, uh, doing a raid on an alien colony site. There are two levels. Uh, I have to get my Aquanauts to the glowing exit and click on the abort mission button to proceed. Then we go to the second section. And we have to at least destroy the, uh, oh, what is it called? Um, man, I just had it and it slipped my mind. Oh, well. Uh, the, oh, the Synonium device. We have to take that out. I mean, we can kill every alien as well. That works, but, you know, 
if all else fails, at least take that out so in case you do lose everybody, you still win the mission. So that's the key objective right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these up here too because I'm going to want to optimize uh, time unit usage. And uh, I think there's a program out there that can take care of this for you. Um, and crud, that's, that's, just, that's escaping my memory right now as well. Uh, I'm sure someone can mention it or I'll mention it uh, later on. But it can, it can save your layout for you, just like in Apocalypse. Okay. Now let's see. I think this is an excellent starting spot, but I don't want to say that for sure just yet. Uh, basically, you want to go as fast as you can, but try to kill aliens at the same time. Uh, you're going to have tentaculants coming at you, and, um, and I'll show you here in a little bit, but you're going to have a room right in the middle, and actually where you need to go, where there are like eight aliens, and they all have disruptor, disruptor launchers. Yeah, I think this is where we want to go. Okay, so we have one alien spotted already. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, off screen, um, those of you that have died and I've renamed, I'm accumulating uh, the number of times I've uh, revived you, or how many uh, versions of you there have been. So, you know, like Josiah, you have a version two of you right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm almost. Let's see. Yeah, that's where I want to go. So we want to try to make a break over here. Yeah. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come in here, probably shoot our way in, then come down this way, and go right here. And at the same time, not get ourselves killed. Let's see. Yeah, there's our buddy with the disruption or disruptor launcher. One shot, I don't think we'll kill him even if you could take a shot though. guys out for cover. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay. That was a good first turn. Alright, so we have these huge jellyfish that can hurt you, but for some reason they just tend not to. I don't know what it is. I mean, I've had aquanauts die from them before, but it seems to be difficult for them to hurt you. Okay, guys. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
That's the other one up there. Okay. Oh, we see an alien over here. Off. We uh, we want to capture one of them as soon as possible as well. Although you you have to avoid the commander. Uh, from what I've read, there's a bug with the commander that will completely mess up your game if you uh, if you research him too early. All right, we're going to see if we can get a grenade up here. Oh, that's a bad angle. Hmm. Well... I'm just going to have to toss it in short. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it landed up there, so don't have to worry about it landing down here. Yeah. I think uh, Tassos are strong or have resistance to um, sonic damage. Yes, they sound like horses when they die. Yeah, you have to be careful with Tassos. They're the uh, ethereals uh, in this game. They all have psionics. Hence why you want to research them. Um... You know, you'd be tempted to go up there and kill him, but really, I don't think that'd be a good idea. I think it'd be wiser to just move along. Now this one, on the other hand, yes, try to kill him. Because he will not be afraid to kill you, point blank. Well, I guess she can start picking them off from in there. 
That wouldn't be a bad idea. Eh, yeah, oh well. So she took out that one, I guess. That's good enough. Start demoralizing him, we'll be alright. Okay, another disruptor launcher. shooting your own guys. There we go. Alright. So we have him dead. So we'll just slowly advance. trying to be a hero. We're not having that. Okay. Let me look at something real quick. Okay. Thought maybe I'd research that. Because uh, even though, even if you don't have the ammo researched, you can still use the gun. As long as there's ammo in it. You can't reload a gun if you don't know what the ammo does. I wasn't expecting that to work. That's not good. One turn to wake up. Oh, crud. You might think this is a good idea to blow a hole in there. But we just opened up a nice, easy hole for them to send their disruptor launchers.
Okay. Go ahead and save it. Slightly improved, but I don't know by how much now. So it looks like someone panicked right there. Okay, now here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get everyone over here. We're all going to try to run in at the same time, get in there, and get through to the exit. I count that folks but that was six shots I think and um, yeah you're not supposed to be able to do that so that's a kind of nice bug too at least uh, M Savic's morale should have caught up a little bit okay so now this kind of means we're gonna have to kill what's in there take another turn to get everyone in there. trouble for Gearhard here. Let's hope some reaction fire can take care of things. right now. Holy cow. You have to be kidding me. Uh, well, I think we're going to make
make it in, folks. So at this point, you just get everyone to pile in, get on these little yellow, green, glowing things of goo. I'm try saying that ten times fast. No! Stupid AI! Square away. Okay, let me hold your hand here. Don't want you to get lost either. Unacceptable. Not enough time units. Holy cow. It's not that big of a big of a problem. It might be able to use molecular control on us, but uh, that's going to be uh, less of a problem than a disruptor launcher or something. One square. There goes nothing, folks. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't really need to pick any of that up. And we'll get some free uh, target practice. Some experience. Well, we'll try to. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Alright, 11 units are there. Here we go. Okay, yeah, Synonium device, or eliminate all aliens. So what I like to do is I like to send a couple people after the Synonium device, take it out, and then I'll try to clear out the rest of the colony. And now you're about to see why I waited till a fresh episode to take care of this. Because not only is this huge, but you have four levels you have to take care of. Wow, what the heck? 
my memory serves me correctly, the Sinonium device is right below this hole. Huh. I don't think I've ever started that close to it before. Not that I'm complaining. Watch out for tentaculants, of course. Uh, there are going to be a lot of them. Or at least enough to make you mad. <laughs> oh, now it kills them from like eight feet away? Yeah, anyway. We'll keep going. Again, I won't complain. These dreaded rooms right here, there's so many of them. At least we spotted this one quickly. We have more than enough Aquanauts to take care of it. Well, they must have had their stronger tentaculants outside. Watch out for lobster men. There are quite a few lobster men. Good thing I took you down there, Edward. Because um, we would have lost at least one Aquanaut easily. Well, that was a quick turn. What the heck? There you go. That's how you shoot, Savic. That's how it's done. Uh, folks, if this looks easy, it's because it's on accident. So <laughs> don't don't assume this is an easy mission. Because um, even even when like later in the game, when I have all the best equipment, super soldiers and stuff, uh, I, I still get worried and concerned doing these missions because they're that difficult. You know, one mistake or one false move can cost you big time. And tentaculants can zombify through armor, so don't expect that to save you. Going up. Oh, hello. Oh, this way. Okay. Well, I'll be doggone. Yep, right here it is. Thank you, AI. 
Oh yeah, there's the false teleporter right there. Unless there's an alien right below me. But I'm pretty sure it's just a false teleporter. Yikes! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit. Maybe they won't see us. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm gonna soften them up a little bit. Try to toss a grenade down in there. Oh, yeah. There's a wall right there. I don't feel gutsy enough to go back up. Take a look at the map real quick. Alright, so so far we've had aliens here and there. And let's see, we have the Sinonium device here. There's going to be at least two to three aliens in there. And uh, let's see, where's that other one at? Now there's another one somewhere that someone saw. Let's see. Well, anyway. Um, basically what I'm getting at is something that M. Savick, uh 13 mentioned, and we've talked about it several times over the years. Oh yeah, alien right there. In these colonies, for some reason, it tends to be uh, that the aliens hang out in the top half of the map. Not necessarily the top floors, but the top half. It's really weird. I don't know if it's programmed to be like that, or if it's an accident. That's just what the AI figures. We don't know. But uh, I, I explore the whole map, but if you want to kill as quickly as possible, starting at the top half would be a good idea. Now, I think sometimes the Sinonium device can be in the bottom half somewhere, which that, of course, is the exception to the rule. But generally, all the aliens outside of that area are uh, going to be uh, in the top half. Okay. Yeah. We'll go back up. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's 
see if I can get that down there now. Check out what's going on. So we're encountering very eh, kind of little resistance here. It's a little unusual, to be honest. Now oh, that tentaculum gone. Probably went through that way a little bit. So, need to watch out. Okay. Let's, um... Concerned about that grenade blast. So we see one alien right there. Oh, come on, just drop it. Real quick, let you see the Synonium device. It's neat little uh, dual ring action there. me to do it like that, but it's weird. Usually you can still toss grenades a little bit. Well, crud. Well, the good thing is uh, none of these lobster men in here have weapons. They just come out and start swinging. see any aliens in here either.
Might want to start swinging back up this way. Try to take care of that tentaculum before it sneaks up on us. They have a knack for doing that. that was happening. I thought I might have been close enough for it to get stunned too, but apparently not. Lots of uh, seashells here. Oh, hello. Still searching. Nice. Gotta go. <laughs> oh man, they're getting mad now. Definitely a weird sound effect for uh, stunning. <laughs> I was wondering what would happen. Nice. Well, that's that's how I could get my grenade down there. Too bad I already stunned an alien. Oh well. 
Let's see. Where's that lobster man at? Alright. So he's not going to be able to shoot. So we'll just pop back out. And not do anything. Mal's going to take a shot. Ouch. Cause we'll try again next turn. This episode's taken a while. Should be a whole lot longer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that too. Okay. Try this again. Oh no. No. Oh crud, sorry Mal. I I tried. That's gonna be a sucky way to die though, especially if you're the only one that does on the second level. I'm really not liking this spot right here. And to be honest, I, I really thought that second shot was going to take him out. back up now. Okay, I'm going to leave Leo here to watch over them. I'm going to bring Edward back. Uh, just in case somehow things go south, Leo could take out this Sinonium device and Head on out. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to take out the rest of the aliens. Okay, we'll get them next. 
next turn. Oh man, yeah, I'm really not liking this spot. So you can see, folks, you know, there's like nothing going on down here in this bottom half. All the action's up here somewhere. It's really crazy. Okay, that's kind of a waste of time, but oh well. Let's go, Edward. low on energy now. Gotta be a little more careful, I suppose. Maybe take a turn or two to rest up. Go, punk. I wonder if it's hiding in here. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I 
Oh, is that the one guy? Yeah, that might have been. Let's see, right there. Yeah, see, here's that warper to nowhere. It, it comes down onto this. Alright, so I know where this guy is now. Let's see. You can do it. I'll never forget you. Oops. Okay, so We've gotten past the one hour mark. Okay, no one's sneaking up on us. Not yet. Holy cow. This is crazy. I'm getting very, very nervous now. Those tentaculants have a ton of time units. So they can move really far, and it, it doesn't take any effort by them at all to zombify your agents, your aquanauts. I'm not even sure why it takes more than one hit. Getting closer. Run away. that punk at? Yeah. It's opening door somewhere.
shoot, not there either. Where'd he go? Hmm. Okay. I'll start going over there. I guess the lesson to learn from this, folks, is if you spot an alien, chase it down till you kill it. Don't let it get away, because then you're going to have to hunt it down later. Jump on in. Oh shoot, we have two more over there. Okay. Let's see how we're gonna get to them. There. That'll teach you. Yeah. We're just moving on up here now. Buddy. Well, good thing is, Lobster Man's weak against stun, and uh, if he shoots me, then he'll be stunned as well, most likely. If not, oh, we have Aquanauts right here that can help take care of the job. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love that. Don't gotta love that. Let's see. No. <laughs> What's Let's just sleep on that a little bit. Jeez. 
kill. No, I said kill, not do nothing. So where did that shot come from? Well, folks, things are getting pretty interesting now, huh? Oh, there it is. Oh, there he is. Well, shoot. Okay, where's everybody dying? Up there. Goodness. So, hmm. Interesting. Let's see. I'm going to have to backtrack now. Crud. one sight with her now. Yeah, I get it out of your system.
Alright. did though. So I guess we'll just have Amanda keep taking pot shots over there. We'll slowly scoot along with this guy. Proof that aliens have better sight than XCOM agents. Holy cow, how many hits is he gonna take? <laughs> hey, whatever works, I'll take it. It wasn't in my backpack. going on I can't believe I did that as far as I know <laughs> that lobster man commander survived <sighs> come on we need you man where's the stimulant stunned out of his mind. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. I thought I had this in the bag, to be honest. I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is going to be way easier than I thought. No. What? Let me through. Alright. Let's get all your gear.
we're just going to have a door to hide behind on the next turn. Very nice. And apparently that's not enough. One shot left in that gun. Where are you going? Oh. down to here and make sure those guys are still stunned. <laughs> oh, we're done! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, shoot! Seven live aliens. Two, oh, two missing in action. I didn't wake them up. Oh, man. Oh, that's another bug in this game. If they're stunned, they're considered missing in action. Hey, but we did excellent. At least we should have got some Zerbite. Come on. 26 aliens killed. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Mr. msavic 13-2... You're, you got lucky I woke you up at the end there. Oh my god. Folks, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm just going to save it now and quit. Uh, before my next episode, I'm going to off-screen some stuff. <laughs> Cause, oh, this is some craziness I have to, uh, I have to fix. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah... <laughs> Be careful with the colony missions, because remember, this is the easiest difficulty, and look at that challenge. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.